Hello and welcome to Swagger Hub, a collaborative platform where you can design and manage your API definitions throughout their lifecycle. In this video, you will learn how to set up the GitHub Sync integration with your API definition. GitHub Sync is a powerful feature you can use to synchronize your API definition with an existing repository on GitHub. This means no more downloading files, merging changes, or any other complicated configurations. You'll have full control over the code generation process, including where the files are pushed to, what should be managed by the code gen process, and what should be ignored. To use the integration, you need a GitHub repository for the generated code. We'll be generating the server-side code for an API definition and pushing it to the Pet Store repository on GitHub. Now let's go to Swagger Hub. This is a Pet Store API definition, and we're going to generate a Node.js server based on it. In Swagger Hub, you can customize code generation options for server stubs and client SDKs. The options apply to a specific API version. You may need to use them. For example, to specify a TCP port for the Node.js server to listen to, or to change namespaces for the generated C-sharp and Java classes. Now, let's set up the GitHub Sync integration. Give the integration a friendly name as you can have multiple integrations in the same API definition. Now, connect to GitHub and allow Swagger Hub to retrieve information from your GitHub account. Next, Specify the repository owner and the repository name. The integration has two sync methods, basic and advanced. Basic sync pushes the generated code to a branch named Swagger Hub and overwrites all the files in that branch. Advanced sync lets you choose the branch and control which files and folders will be created or updated. So if a repository already contains work in progress code, it won't be affected. We'll use the advanced sync method and push the code to the master branch and generate a Node.js server based on my API definition and place the code in the Node.js server folder. Now, choose how the sync will work with GitHub. There are three types of sync management configurations in the integration. The first one is partially managed paths. In these paths, new files are created only if they don't exist, and any existing files in these paths are not modified, so you won't lose the existing work. Fully managed paths are completely controlled by Swagger Hub. New files are added, the existing ones are overwritten, and unused files are deleted. Choose this type only if you want the integration to always regenerate and overwrite all files in these paths. Ignored paths are just that. They are ignored by the integration and will remain as is. All these paths are relative to the specified output folder in the GitHub repository. If you are configuring the GitHub integration for the first time, or if you are pushing to an empty repository, use the asterisk wildcard for partially managed paths, which represent the entire output folder. This tells Swagger Hub to create files in the output folder only if they don't exist and not to touch any existing files. Now, let's check how the integration works. Back in the GitHub repository, note that a new folder was created in the repository root, and it contains the generated Node.js server. Swagger Hub also generated the readme file with detailed instructions on how to run the generated API server. Let's clone the repository and run the server. We can also browse the interactive API documentation included in the generated server. Now let's see how to better control the synchronization process. We'll change the definition a bit and make Swagger Hub update the server code in the repository accordingly. Currently, the integration is configured to create only new paths. It doesn't touch the existing files. Let's update the synchronization settings to allow the integration to fully manage the definition and one of the controller files in the GitHub repository. Keep in mind that these paths are relative to the output folder configured for the integration. Now, when you make changes to the definition and save them, the specified paths will be updated by the integration. Your team can then pull the changes from GitHub, add the right business logic, and work towards building a fully functional API. Swagger Hub can greatly accelerate your API development process. We hope this video helped you learn how to integrate your API definition with GitHub. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, check out our documentation, videos, and online community on our support portal.